Initially, I came up with 5 reasons, but in the end, I came up with 12. I like a few of her songs and I like her enough to do this video. So I'm here as an objective singer, songwriter and singing teacher to share with you top 12 reasons why I think Taylor Swift deserves her success today. If you're wondering why Taylor Swift is so hyped up, I hope this video helps. Number 1. She can sing I realise that people are generally very hard on a certain category of singers, typically the pop princess kind of singers and that includes people like Debbie Gibson, Britney Spears and now Taylor Swift. For people who think nothing much of singers under this category, I would tell them, come and sing their songs. Come. Taylor Swift's songs are deceptively simple. First of all, she has very good breath control. If you try to sing these songs and you try to breathe at the exact same breathing points that she breathed at, you may run out of air. This girl has techniques. She also exhibits good vocal range like not every singer-songwriter wants to sing this high, especially if they are needed to sing live. Some of her songs also have rather high keys, for example, Blank Space, Shake It Off, and Style. She doesn't have to sing this song so high a key, but she did because she can. So can you say that she can't sing? No, you can't. She has techniques. People who criticize that she can't dance. For goodness sake, she's a singer-songwriter. Do you know what that means? That means that from a tender young age, they dedicated their time, their lives, to mastering one or two instruments, to the craft of songwriting and vocal training. Three skills. What else do you want for her to turn into an alien? Interestingly, nobody expected Ed Sheeran to dance too. Number two, her songs are really hooky. Her songs are full of earworms. You can't shake them off sometimes, you know, you can try. Especially because the lyrics and the rhythm in her melodies are so well intertwined together. The songs are so well written in terms of getting you to remember to sing along and that in itself is the quality of a good song. Because songs are only great if we can remember how to sing them and if we find the lyrics relatable. Some of her songs, interestingly, do not have a wide vocal range. In fact, she doesn't even sing high notes for some of her songs. But that's the thing about singer-songwriters. It's about the stories and the intentions in the songs. It just means that she doesn't feel a need to sing high, just because. Number 3. Speaking of lyrics, she is a prolific storyteller. And that is essential for good songs. She is well known for writing about her love songs, but do you know that she writes a lot about non-love songs as well? The truth is, she can write about any topic under the sun and still be good at it. So, she doesn't only write about her love stories, but also a host of topics that involve other kinds of relationship and their psychology. Give her some credit. Number 4. Expressivity I know she's not a typical belter like Adele or Jessie J, but it doesn't mean that she's not expressive. She knows who she is and she doesn't try to be anything but. In fact, she has the ability to sing different kinds of emotions and different kinds of songs. For example, the happy bubblegum pop songs, sad vulnerable love songs, Songs about revenge and jealousy, etc. She doesn't do crazy anguish belting that much or crazy runs like Tori Kelly. Her background was in country music songwriting, which also means that the kind of singing style that she has is more talking style. It's about storytelling, stories. 
Number five, she's very real and that's why we connect with her. She dares to put her real self out there because it's one thing to write songs from your own experiences but to claim that these are from your own experiences and share them with the world, that's another level of authenticity. This openness about her relationships is actually what connects her listeners to her because she talks about the common experiences that every human usually would experience. She embraces her vulnerabilities, you know, the fragile feelings of falling in and out of love. She even shared about her eating disorders in her songs, something that most people would be ashamed of sharing, even if it happened in the past. Would you want to bear your soul and share it with the world? I don't think so. But that's what singer-songwriters do. I used to be a singer-songwriter, so I understand the need for genuine expression through songs, okay? That's what singer-songwriters do, and people who don't get it will never get it. Some people also blast her for using her experiences to write songs. Hello, that's what songwriters do, especially the good ones. Wake up. But it takes a lot of emotional security to put your hurt and your failed relationships out there to share them with the world. Incidentally, usually the emotionally insecure and emotionally unstable people are the ones who tend to criticize people and pour their negativity on others and I think Taylor Swift is an easy target. She's still here because Miss Swift runs faster than any negativity. Sorry, I can't help it. And interestingly, nobody criticizes Bruno Mars or Ed Sheeran for writing about their exes and their current love lives. I mean, the double standards. So, Tete actually has a lot of inner strength to continue to share her inner worlds despite the onslaught of negativity. She keeps it real. Number 6, she's got all the markets down. She attracts straight women from young girls, preteens to adults, the LGBTQs, the musicians because of her great songwriting abilities, and even the straight men. Now you would think that straight men would naturally like female singers, but think about it, not all female singers. And that's why they have to dress so little. Straight men are the demographics that a female singer may or may not get. So let's hear from some of them. I really like that she's so open and vulnerable in sharing her own personal experiences, even things that seem mundane like breakups. Because many of us have been through these experiences and her music becomes relatable and encouraging for me. I think there's a lot of positive and really self-reflective messages in her music. Things like learning to accept uh, ourselves for who we are as we grow up and uh, learning how to accept and be generous towards others who are different from, from us. I also love it that she's an ambassador for animal welfare and has adopted two cats. What I love about Taylor Swift as a musician is that if you listen to her earlier albums, she records with a full band and the arrangement is amazing, so the instruments are still organic. In fact, listen to the guitar solos on her first two albums. You can listen to the guitar part on style. That's such an amazing guitar part, it's actually very difficult to play. We, know, we all know that she writes really good lyrics and really good songs. Her songs are what I like to call very smart pop songs. They are just super catchy and they are not only just catchy but they are really really good songs as well. You have bubblegum pop songs but you, then you have what I like to call the super pop songs and her songs really fit into that. I like Taylor Swift, not a diehard fan but I like her because she's pretty, she's talented, she writes a lot of nice songs and she has a lot of ex-boyfriends and I'm sure she's going to have more boyfriends in the future. Those people who don't like her will label her but I'm sure they're just jealous. But to me, I think it's very cool because with every experiences, heartbreak, she actually converted to songs which gets very, very popular. Sorry I couldn't find an LGBTQ representative in time but they are there. Number 7, she has a genius mind for lyric writing. Not just in terms of poetry and imagery, but also the psychology. She doesn't scratch the surface when it comes to lyric writing, and we know that because she doesn't use filler words or cuss words, she is basically an imagery planter. She is very intentional with her choice of words, 
straight and cutting to the point, yet provides excellent imagery. In a way, her fans connect to her because of her brain, so she doesn't need to dress like a slut or use a lot of cuss words to sound cool and connect. We connect to Taylor because her lyrics are clever, relatable, and add on to or heal our perspectives. Number 8. Taylor Inspired University Courses What? In fact, her lyric writing and depth of psychology is so good that these universities have offered courses inspired by her music. Some people even compare her lyric writing to Shakespeare. Enough said about her talent. Number 9. She's theatrical and we love her indulgence. So females are usually a bit cautious about, you know, showing the ugly side of their appearances but not Taylor Swift. She's not afraid to show you her stained mascara and eyeliner running down her face or portraying herself as a scorned woman or a psycho. She doesn't get actors to act those ugly roles. She played them herself. Though these characters are theatrical on screen, she sucks us in and makes us feel like it's okay to have evil thoughts sometimes, you know, which I know you do. We just don't act upon them. That is okay to not be the perfect female, and we feel the imperfect emotions through her songs. It's damn cathartic. And did I mention that she directs her own music videos like, Girl, is there anything you can't do? Number 10, she is a chameleon in music. Her original music background was in country music, but she successfully transitioned to pop. Do you even know how hard that is, actually? And then she transitioned to folk and alternative rock. And the fans stayed with her throughout these years. And she came out stronger. She took a chance on her need for expression through different styles of music. She stayed authentic to what she wanted to express. And she's still here and bigger. Number 11. This is the 18th year of her career and she's at her prime and she's record-breaking. She outlasted many singers and even beat Beatles chart-topping records. So this last poem is the one that made me really respect her a hundredfold after I learned about this. She has balls, not literally, but you know what I mean. Long story short, she was signed to Big Machine Records from the start of her career and recorded six albums with them. She had pleaded with the label for her to own the rights to the master recordings of her music repeatedly but was never given a fair option to do so. In the end, her whole music catalogue with them was sold to a private equity and she found that out only through the internet. She will be known in history as the first artist to find the loophole and actually do it to re-record her previous albums with them and release them under Taylor's version. So many fans listen only to Taylor's version to show support because she set precedence for finding a way to stand up to bullies in the industry who ride on artists' backs to earn money without consideration for their feelings. And from there, I believe a lot of people can resonate with her struggles. So that's how I think she contributes to her uh, popularity. And there's a lot of exploitation in the industry, for example, TLC. Alright, so these are my 12 reasons why I think that Taylor Swift deserves her success today. Are there any other reasons that I left out? Feel free to comment below. And for you, are you a Swifty or have I converted you into a Swifty? I feel like now at the end of this video, I am officially a Swifty. <laughs>